My name is Caroline Jordan, and I am a health and wellness coach based out of San Francisco, California. If you're new to my channel, I film feel-good fitness content that helps support you in living your very best life. Today, I want to take you through a total body workout that you can do with an injured foot or ankle. This workout is safe for those of you that are recovering from a hurt foot or hurt ankle. As always, check with your doctor before starting this or any exercise routine. Honor your body and your injury. If anything hurts, don't do it. Be smart and make healing your number one priority. This video is also to complement my full hurt foot fitness program. It's been doing really, really well, and I've been getting a whole bunch of emails from people who have bought the program who've seen great results in their fitness and their mindset while recovering from a hard foot or ankle injury. Look, I know how hard it is to come back from an injury. I've had a sesamoid injury that I've been able to stay fit and healthy while recovering from, and I want to share that information with you. So I'll put all the information on my full hurt foot fitness program below this video, so definitely check it out if you need a little more mind, body, and spirit support while you heal. Okay. Are you ready for this total body hurt foot workout? I want you to find a chair and a mat because we'll be using both today. When you're ready to get started, sit tall on your mat and you're just going to reach your arms out towards the camera. From here, take arm jumping jacks. Now, if you're an old YouTube subscriber, you know we do arm jumping jacks quite a bit on the channel because um, they feel great and they get your blood moving, your heart pumping, and working up a sweat a little bit. So we're just going to open up the chest and shoulders with some arm jumping jacks. Today I want to challenge you in a safe and effective way and help you find positive energy to be the best you can in your day, in your week, and in your life. Okay, keep breathing. You're just going to give me four more, and two, and rest. Take your arms by your sides. You're just going to reach one arm up and down and switch. Now, I love doing these stretches before any strength training because it just opens me up. I work a lot on the computer and I feel that in my shoulders. So these exercises and stretches help work out the kinks. Just get rid of all the computer and the cell phone. It's amazing. I want you just to give me one more on each side and take your arms out to a T. From here, you're just going to twist and twist. Now, I'm sitting in a chair with a low headrest, which really helps me do this exercise, but you might want to sit on a stool if your chair is too high in the back. I'm warming up my core with this rotation, and I actually really feel my obliques working and my posture muscles working as I move. So how's it feeling for you? Pretty good, huh? All right, let's just do a few more. Twist from the stomach. Breathe. Sit tall. And last one. Take your hands by your sides. You're going to sit at the end of your chair, engage your stomach muscles. Lean back slightly, and we're doing a chair jumping jack. So I want you to reach the legs and arms out and back in. Try that again. So pushing the air away. And I'm leaning back so that my stomach muscle has to work here. It's also a bonus that my chair is cushioned. So you might want to grab a pillow for a little extra butt support if you need it. Now we're doing chair jumping jacks right now to get your heart rate up, to get your blood flowing, to warm you up, and also just to make you feel fantastic. So I hope you like these. Keep breathing. Give me four more. Three, nice and big. Two. And one, bring your arms in, tummy nice and tall, and I just want you to run. Now, don't put your feet on the floor, use your core. What? This is actually really hard. And yes, we're going, we're exercising, and we're still recovering from our foot injury in a safe way. Be smart, my friends, be smart. Go, four, three, two, and rest. Sit up tall, arms towards me, jumping jacks, here we go. So I like to use repetition, not only so that your body gets a chance to really work up a great sweat, but so you can follow along with this video. Certainly helps, doesn't it? So now this is round two of arm jumping jacks, and you're thinking, I'm better at it now, Caroline. Let me show you my skills. Good. Keep breathing. 
Think positive. It does feel better around too, doesn't it? My shoulders are already open. Oh, love me some arm jumping jacks. Just give me four more. Sit up really tall, use your core, and rest. Reach to the side, and down, other side, all oh, stretch. Good. Can you open up a little bit more? Use your chair for support if you need. Stomach is strong. And again, I'm sitting at the end of my chair here so I can get a little extra abs because, you know, more abs is always awesome. How about just two more side to side? Whew. Here we go. Two. And last one. Bring those arms out to a T. Sit up tall and twist to the side and side. Now again, we're really working stomach, trying to use the core as we twist. I want you to see if you can look over that back hand and squeeze your butt to sit up really tall. You're doing great, my friend. Thank you for being here. Sit up tall, squeeze the butt, use the abs, and breathe. Nice job, just four, and three, two more. Really good. And rest. At the end of your chair, use your stomach muscles, lean back a little bit, and give me those chair jumping jacks. Here we go. Reach and reach. Now, I'm leaning back even more round two because I figured out that I can lean back further. And it feels a little good in my stomach muscles. Okay, reach those arms up. Are you having fun yet? Because I'm having a good time with you. Don't leave. Hang out. Let's get exercising. Good. Move those legs. Use your quads. They like to be used. And look, you're using them safely. Awesome. Two more. Last one. You're amazing. We're going to lean back a little bit, bring the feet together, and chair run go. So this is really just to get your heart rate up, your blood flowing. Can you pump those arms a little bit more? Use your stomach. Don't let those feet touch the ground. You're doing great, and I'm so, so happy you're here. Give me eight more. Okay, we can go faster, right? Yes, that's awesome. Last one. Whew. Round three, my friend. Round three, arms out. Here we go. Open and closed. So let's just do one more round together. Mostly so you work up a really good sweat. You want your heart to be pumping. Right now, if you're out of breath, that's normal. It's cool. You should be feeling a little bit like you're getting an exercise. Work out. You are. Good. Open and breathe. Smiling again, very advanced. Only do it if you feel ready to take it up a notch. Good, open and close. Let's try four more. And relax, reach over and down. And again, oh gosh, I love the stretch. Now you can fit this in any time, especially if you just need a little more positive energy. You know you have those days in an injury where you're like, is it ever gonna get better? My goodness, the struggle is real. So sometimes you just do a little bit of exercise that completely shifts your mood, helps you be more positive, helps you think more positive, and helps you heal. Just give me two more. Reach to the side. Oh, that feels so good. And rest. Arms out. Use your stomach. Twist. So again, sitting up tall, twisting through the torso, thinking about abs here. It's not just a spinal rotation, it's a lot of core. It's really cool when you can plug into those muscles, see what's working. Ha, ah, I love it, so good. Breathing, thinking positive, happy thoughts, supporting yourself through movement and good thinking. Just two more, and last one. All right, we've got chair jumping jacks, my friend. Lean back a little bit, stomach is strong, and reach. Oh, I love it! Big, use your whole body. Get those legs working. Maybe they've been missing exercise. Whatever you love to do before the injury, running, spinning, rowing, whatever it was, give them a little love right now. Let's get those legs going. Breathe, can you sit back a little bit further? Can you reach those arms a little bit higher? I'm sweating. I'm really sporting up a sweat. Just give me two more, and last one, final round of running. Lean back, get those arms ready, legs up, and go. Now, bonus, if you have a higher chair, you can probably pump those legs, huh? So you could get a little higher, you can go a little bit harder, so you can look around, shop for a chair that's super tall. But be safe, be smart, I know you're smart, so keep those smarts going. 
breathe, four, oh my gosh, oh, two more, last one, rest. Okay, bring those legs together. From here, I want you to squeeze your stomach and lean forward to bring your arms down. I want you to open and close and squeeze the back muscles. So from here, you're trying to work those upper back muscles in a safe way. And again, if you need to wear your boot, wear your cast while you're doing this, it's cool. Make sure you're smart with healing those injuries, whatever you're coming back from. Okay, I want you to breathe, think strong, positive thoughts. Two more, and last one. Now sit up nice and tall, lean back, and you're just gonna give me a bicep curl and knee lift in a safe way. Don't put any pressure on your injury. Now, you should feel your abs. You can lift both legs off the floor, and it's a mock bicep curl. Clearly, I don't have any weights. You can add weights to this, but to be honest, if it puts you at risk for you know hurting that injury anymore, so actually, I'm getting a really good workout right now. I'm feeling this, it feels great. Just four more, three more, two. Let's repeat. So I want you to come forward, squeeze the stomach, and open and close. Now, this exercise is also great for posture. So if you're trying to stand up a little bit taller, feel more, more confident in your spine, this will help you. Oh my goodness, and I'm really feeling those upper back muscles now. Try just four more here, squeeze, shoulder blades together. Last two, and lean back, curl. Oh, see how I did that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it, huh? You're gonna be the best hurt foot exerciser out there. It's just gonna be awesome. Who says you can't stay positive and active while you heal? They have not met me yet, apparently. Just give me four more, we'll do one more round for a total of three. Last two. Okay, lean forward, here we go. Open and close. And gosh, it just feels so good to move. When you're healing, you know, any type of exercise that you can do safely is a great way to support yourself in being your best and coming out of the injury a stronger person inside and out. Okay, just four more. Isn't that good news? Last two. Bicep curl final round, so reaching back. Can you use your stomach as you bring that knee into chest? So it's almost like a bonus crunch. You know me, I'm always just trying to give you more abs. You get bonus abs all the time with my videos. That's great. Okay, just four more. Keep breathing. Last two. Let's work those arms a little bit more. So sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands towards your chest, and I want you to twist and twist like a boxer. Okay. When you're ready, I want you to pick up the speed, but use your core. Bring those elbows in towards the sides of the body, and I want you to whittle that waist. You should be getting that heart rate up, your full body really working up a sweat. Now, this is no joke of a hurt foot workout. We are gonna work your body today. Cardio, strength, flexibility. You get the whole, whole package here. So I want you to breathe and go for it. Give your body the gift of movement. You got it. Eight, six, hey, four, two, and rest. Nice job. Arms up. You're going to lean over to the side and give me three knees. Two, and one, and switch. Three, two, get, make it a crunch. How's that? So you're going to crunch it in. Crunch and crunch. Oh, this is good exercise, man. You know, I would do this if I wasn't injured. I'm sweating. Shoot. In. Now, if you do have a boot, be safe here. Remember, you promised you'd be smart. I know you are. Okay, three, two, one. And last time this side, huh, bring those abs in. And boxer, go, side to side. Now you know it, I want you to work it. Breathe. Now, this is a good exercise to punch out any negativity any depression, any hurt foot sadness you got, you just let it go. Can you just punch it out of your body? Let's try that right now. Just let it go. Out with the negativity, out with the stress. Punch out any negative thoughts. You will heal and you are strong and I believe in you, my friend. Keep going. You've got four, three, two, and knees. You know what? In. Two, and one, switch. Oh my gosh, my abs. I really feel this. 
this. You guys are kicking my butt. Let's just do a few more. We're going for three rounds total. We are going to take it to the mat eventually, so don't worry. I've got big plans for you today. Big plans. Always big plans on the Caroline Jordan Fitness YouTube channel. We're always trying to give you lots of exercise. Last one, this side. Yes, and punch. Last time. Side to side. Now again, if you've got negative thoughts, you're going to get rid of them right now. Let's call this a detox workout. I am detoxing my mind from negative things. My body is strong. My body is healing. Breathe. Sit up tall. Twist through the stomach. Stay with me. You're amazing. Breathe. All right, just give me four, two, and rest. Last time with the knees. Are you sweating yet? Three, two, one, switch. Whoo! It's so good. I love a good workout. Look, and when you're finally recovered, you'll be strong because you've been maintaining your fitness the whole time. Good for you. All right, two more. One each side. I'm sweating so much. Last one. Good, and rest. Okay, my friend, we are going to go onto the mat. So from here, I want you to safely bring a mat around, and you don't put any pressure on your feet while you do this. So, you know, hobble, do some creative exercise. We're going to swing the chair to the end of the mat, okay? So carefully, and I did this while I was in a boot, so I know it works, but you need to be smart. Be smart. All right. Chair comes around, like so, and you are just going to bring yourself safely onto your back and place your legs up onto the chair. So we worked the front of the thighs, we got those quads going, now we're going to work the backs of the thighs, the hamstrings and the butt, okay? So hands down by your sides, and all I want you to do without hurting your ankle, very important. So maybe watch this first before you try, lift up and down. Now, if this puts any pressure on your ankle, I'm going to ask that you wait and join me when we're done with this exercise, okay? So there's no harm in waiting. I'll give you lots of exercises you can do, but if this one's not right for you, then skip it. No problem. Oh, my butt's on fire, though. This is cool. Okay, let's lift and lower. I'm feeling pretty good about life right now. Just four more. And three, two more strong. Last one. Okay, hands behind your head. Now from here, I want you to scoot the shoulders up and down. So we're just going to do a little bit of crunch work and then go back to the leg work so that you kind of can do a lot while you're in this position. I like to multitask like that. It's so good. Just four, three, shoulders up a little higher. Elbows wide. Okay, hands by your sides. Butt up, butt down. Now you can actually do this while in the boot safely with smarts. So give it a try. If it's okay for your body, then go for it. Awesome. If it's not, then wait, because you're going to heal and you'll get back to this exercise, okay? So you just got three more, two more. Oh, what? Okay, let's crunch. Hands behind the head, shoulders up, and then breathing, thinking positive, happy thoughts, because, you know, that always helps. Just four more, and we'll do your butt one last time. You're amazing, my friend. I'm so proud of you. Last one. Okay, hands by your hips. Lift up. And down. Like I said in the beginning of this workout, it's a total body workout. Everything. We're doing it all today. We're doing it all except for maybe your like finger muscles. No, we'll probably do those two. Okay, just four more. Whoop! My butt is working. Ugh. Two. Last one. Oh, that feels so good. Hands behind the head. Scoop the shoulders up and down. Try to bring the ribs in. Neck is long. You are breathing. You're thinking positive, happy thoughts. And you're staying strong through this. Two more. Last one. Whew, that's amazing. Okay, safely, bring your knees in. Roll to one side, and you're just going to sit up. We're going to get rid of your chair, okay? So carefully. Move the chair aside. It doesn't need to be pretty. Just make sure it doesn't hurt your body, okay? So now I'm going to ask that you lay down on one side, and you're just going to take the hips to stack each other, top arm in front, and we're going to do the Jane Fonda. You know I love the Jane Fonda. 
We do the Jane Fonda in my not hurt for videos because it's such a fabulous exercise that I want to share it with the world. Okay, so I want you to keep breathing. Use your butt muscle. You feel this yet? Good, I knew you would. We're gonna do a lot of butt today. I love me some butt. All right, keep it up. You're almost there. And two, and one. Now this one's tricky. You're gonna lay onto your belly. Your hands are stacked and your head is going to support. Same leg you just worked is off the floor. So stomach is strong and when you do this exercise, you'll place down. You place your forehead on your hands. Leg is up. Now curl in and reach and in. Whoo, that butt is working. Okay, that's four. Let's get to 12. So we're going to bring it in and up. Make sure your quad is not on the ground. So lift your quad. Oh, my quad. Okay, six more. This is actually really hard. I hope you're sweating. Okay, almost there. Two more. My butt's on fire. Last one. Okay, nice job. Extend long. Bring your hands by your boobs. Tuck your knees on the floor. Shoulders back and down. And just bring it up to a push-up. Nice job. And then go right back down. Good. And then come back up. And you're thinking, Caroline, are you crazy? You want me to go all the way down to the ground? Yes, I want you to go all the way down to the ground. All the way down, and all the way up. Keep your stomach strong. So all the way down to the floor, we call these chest to floor push-ups. Down, and up, and down, and up. Press down to the ground, four, and lift. Oh, this feels so good, I love me some push-ups. Just two more, elbows in, elbows in like chaturanga, last one. Whew. And breathe. Nice job. Sit back to a child pose. Take a deep inhale and a long exhale. Ooh. And then we're going to swing it over to the other side. So you're just going to carefully, carefully, be smart. Lay down. And you know we're going to do the Jane Fonda, right? Because you're excited. Okay. So top leg up, stomach strong, hip bones stacked, and we just go up and down. Now, again, you want to feel your side butt. Yes, it's a very technical term, side butt. But if you feel this in your hip flexor, something's off with your form. So make sure that your hips are stacked, your stomach is strong, and you're feeling this in the side butt muscle. You can make sure, you can know, put your hand on to make sure, like, mm, oh, yeah, oh, it's working. That's definitely working. If you're not sure by now, hopefully by now you're like, no, I know it's working, Caroline, because it's burning. Mm. Two more. Last one. From here, we keep the leg up, you lay on your belly. You're going to stack your hands, head on the hands. Leg off the floor, flex the heel in towards the butt, and out. Oh my goodness. So this is a great exercise to strengthen those hamstrings and glutes. And I need you to use your abs too so that you don't feel this too much in your lower back, okay? So think about pulling abs in and up and supporting yourself with a nice strong core. Mm. My butt is on fire that I do. Oh goodness. We're almost there. Two more. Last one. And release. Okay, so both knees on the mat. Bend your heels towards your hips. Hands by your chest. Shoulders back and down. Come up, squeeze the stomach, and lower down. So again, chest to floor push-ups, and you're really feeling that butt muscle work. Breathing, long spine. Oh my gosh, your arms are gonna be so strong at the end of this injury. Just three more. Two, this is hard. Gosh, last one. Oh my gosh, hips to heel, stretch it back, inhale, exhale. You know we're not done yet. Okay, so I want you to carefully come onto your bottom. We're going to do something I call the hollow rock. So if you've done a lot of my ab videos, you know the hollow rock well. It's hard, so I'm going to set you up to stay with a modification if you're not ready for it yet, okay? So the legs are straight, you're going to lean back, squeeze the stomach, and then you're going to reach your arms up by your ears. Now, I want you to stay here if the hollow rock is too much or if you feel it in your lower back. Don't want you to feel it there. Just in your abs. So your arms are up, your shoulders are down, your spine is long, and if you're ready, we're just going to rock back and then rock up. And we're going to do that again. We're going to rock and come back up. And then if you want to just go for it, you're just going to rock and rock. So you're like, oh, wow, I never knew this amazing abby exercise existed. Caroline, this is great. Okay, those arms by the head. Arms by the head. Hold. Ah, and relax. Okay, bend the knees carefully with the feet. Hands by your heart. 
Lean back, and I just want you to twist and hold. Good, twist and hold. I am sweating so much. Twist, hold. I told you this was a workout. Twist, hold. People don't believe me. You can stay in great shape with a hurt foot or ankle. It just takes a little bit of creativity and the right support. Oh, yeah, and my hurt foot fitness program because it's awesome. I put a lot of time and energy into that. It's all my secrets to helping keep you fit and fabulous and fierce because fierceness is important. Okay, keep breathing. You've got two more. It gets better. Don't worry. Last one. Woo! Yes. Okay, feet and butterfly. Now your knees are going out. You're going to touch in front of your toes and then lay all the way down. Touch behind your head. Sit up all the way. Touch in front of your toes. Lay all the way down. Now, if you're recovering from an injury, this exercise actually feels really good because you're getting a bonus stretch. Have you noticed? So you're like stretching the hips, glutes, inner thighs while you work the stomach. If it's too much to do the sit up, you can do a crunch right here, okay? So I just want you to think about what would feel best for your body right now, and I want you to do that. Remember, on my channel, it's feel good fitness. If it doesn't feel good, I don't want you doing it. Challenging is good. Challenging in a positive way, good. Challenging in a negative way, not good. And you totally know the difference. Okay, keep it up, bring it up nice and strong, and lower down. How about two more? Really tall, and last one. Amazing. Lay all the way down. Bring your hands into your hips and extend your legs out strong. Give me flutter kicks. Okay, squeeze the glutes. Breathe here. Nice and easy with the neck. Soft in the face. Abs are on fire. Four, three, two, and rest. Lay on your side. Oh, it just gets better. Okay, hand underneath your neck. Bring your knees together this time, and now lift your feet, but keep your knees together. So feet are above the knees. Stomach is strong. We're going to open and close. We call this a clamshell. So actually, when I was in the boot, I did this exercise in the boot, just to be careful because my injury is on the inside of my big toe. So this was like smart to hold that support around that area. So depending on what you're recovering from, be safe here, okay? I trust you. You get to learn to trust yourself too. Okay, you're feeling your butt. This is good. We love the butt muscle. Keep breathing, open and close. This is one of our best hurt for foot workouts together, don't you think? Last two, and last one. Nice shot, let's work those obliques a little bit. So you're going to bring the knees down, take your hands behind your head, turn your head towards the ceiling, but keep your knees pointed towards the side, and crunch and lower. Lift up a little bit higher, trying to really work those Ab muscles without straining your neck, please. So be smart and breathe. Oh my gosh. Just four more, lifting up. Three, two more. Roll back on your side, it gets even better. Elbow underneath shoulder, knee stack just like they were right before. Lift up, stomach strong, top leg out, top arm up, hold, good. Now don't sink in this bottom hip, reach that top arm up, make sure your hips are square, stomach is tight. Now you should be feeling abs, butt, heart, life, everything. Awesome. This is one of my favorite exercises. I call it star plank, because baby, you're a star for doing it. Stay with me, hold, hold, and we're gonna come into tabletop. So from here, watch this transition. You're gonna come with me. You're gonna bring it down, and whoa, check that out. I just moved and I'm in a new position. So now we're gonna go up and down the leg. So again, stomach has to be tight here, neck is long, and I want you to feel your butt and your hamstrings. We work the quads a little bit in the seated series. So now we're working the backs of the thighs, the butt and the hamstrings, and keeping those areas really strong. You also feel your hips, probably your stomach, really good things. Okay, don't do anything silly with that back leg. Make sure it doesn't crash down to the floor. Just two more. And last one. Both knees on the mat. Bring your forearms down. Squeeze your stomach in. And plank. So here, I actually want you to use your glutes to bring your heels towards your bottom. And you should feel that. Think about zipping up your stomach. Like you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans to pull the abs in tight. Oh yes, this is one of my favorites. The hurt foot plank. Yes, we do a lot of this in my hurt foot fitness program. There's a lot of planking to be done. 
Okay, so you're gonna breathe. Now I want you to bring it to your hands. Good, and then lower back down to your elbows. Hands, elbows, do it again. Up, up, and down, down, and switch. So now you're feeling arms and abs, because you know I said total body, hurt foot workout. We are making things happen this afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you're doing this video. I hope this finds you just kicking ass at your day. Okay, two more, my friend, two more. Up and down, and last one. Woo! Okay, sit it back, child's pose. We need to do the second side, so you're just gonna carefully come over, or you can flip whatever works in your home, apartment, studio. Okay, knees together, in line with the hips. Hands supporting the head, stomach strong, feet above knees. Ready, open, close. Now, some people call this the clamshell. I like to call it the mermaid, because secretly I just wish I was one. But you know, whatever works for you. You actually should feel both butt cheeks right now because, well, they worked on the first side together and they're working on the second side together. It takes teamwork. Are you having fun yet? I hope so. I love exercise. Hurt foot or not, it's still such a great way to support yourself mentally and physically. Okay, we are loving the side butt muscle right now. Just two more. Last one. Bring your knees together to the side. Head is going to face the ceiling, knees face the side. Give me a little crunch up and down. Now, really thinking about lifting through those obliques, don't tug on your head. Keep it nice to your neck. So I don't want you to feel this in your neck muscles. You should really feel this in your side muscles, okay? Be mindful, breathe, work on your form. This is a good time to do that. Let's try four more. And three, last two. Oh, that one. Okay, good job. Let's start playing it up. So, elbow down, knees together, stomach strong, and lift. So, I want you to help yourself by lifting that hip up, top arm up, top leg up, flex the foot. Now, I want your foot to face straight towards me, okay? So, don't make sure it's not up towards the ceiling, but it's straight towards me. Good. Top arm up, breathe. If this is hard, good. It's supposed to challenge you. It's supposed to make you stronger. So I hope this makes your side butt so strong that by the time you are injury free, you are strutting your stuff because you did all these hip lifts with me. So stay with it. Breathe, strong, deep breath. And here comes that transition. We're gonna take this top arm down to the mat, come to that tabletop position, hands are in your shoulders, back leg extended, and you're just gonna lift up and down. Don't go so high that you get in the lower back. We don't want that to happen. So you actually want probably a little less range of motion here so that you keep it in the glutes and the hamstrings and you don't dip into that lower back muscle, okay? So I want you to think about lengthening your spine, breathing, and keeping your tummy in nice and tight. This is such a great workout. I'm so happy you're here. Best hurt foot workout to date. I would have to say so myself. Last one, good. From here, you're just gonna bring your knees to the mat and come down into that forearm plank. Again, pulling the belly button to the back of the spine. I want you to squeeze your butt muscles so you feel your butt and hamstrings engage to hold your heels towards your hips. Long in the neck, nice and tall in the posture, and breathe in. So we're going to try the up, up, down, down again. If that's too much, stay here. Here we go, push down to the ground. And then go back down. Now you notice that I'm actually alternating which arm goes down first so that I get like balance on both sides. I want you to be balanced and I want you to breathe. Oh, this is so great. So proud of you. Keep it up. Nice and strong. Tall posture. Two more. Man, you should be getting tired. This is hard. Wow. Okay. And Rest, child's pose, sit it back. We're gonna finish with some grand finale abs and a little bit of stretching. So safely, roll onto your bottom and lay all the way down, bring your legs to tabletop. Take your hands behind your head and I want you to scoop your shoulders off the floor. Keep your neck long, spine strong, and you're just going to do a little bicycle and switch. Now, I like to take my back elbow on the floor here it helps me get a little deeper twist, and it also 
soap feels really good on my oblique muscles. So try that variation. See if you like it. See if it works for you. Keep twisting and breathing. Almost there. And two. And one. Nice job. Take your legs in the air, hands underneath your hips. Now you're going to lower, open, and bring it up. Lower. Now with shoes or a boot, goodness, this is a workout. So my goodness, you will be feeling this. So if you need to, to support your lower back, you can bend your knees and try this variation of the exercise instead if that's a little bit too much with the straight legs, okay? So listen to your body, be mindful, and be good to yourself. Be really good to yourself. Okay, let's just do two more. I really feel my abs, it's great. Last one. Woo! Okay, feet and butterfly on the mat, hands by your head, butterfly set up, second round. So you're going to lift it up. Now these are hard, but you know what? If you're injured and you're doing this workout, you'll get better at this because, you know, practice makes progress. So keep practicing. It's kind of funny with this exercise too, I move around a whole bunch. I like slide forward on the mat, slide back, do you do that too? Yeah, I totally do that, it's funny. All of a sudden I've like traveled <laughs> all the way across my apartment. Okay, two more, nice and strong, sit up tall, last one. Okay, my friend, we are going to finish with a V for victory sit. So you can have the legs bent or straight, it's totally up to you. Hands by your sides, lean back. Scoop the stomach, reach the arms, shoulders back, hold up for B. Victory. You stay positive, stay active, and stay strong while recovering from a hard injury. I want to thank you for being here and for being amazing. Okay, stay with it. Hold. And relax. Few stretches before we end this video. So we got to stretch it out. So you're going to take one leg in 90 degrees and the other leg in 90 degrees. So you're 90 and 90. So you should feel a hip flexor stretch right there. This is actually one of my favorite stretches to do. So you're gonna bring the arms over that front knee. Now, this is a modified pigeon. So for those of you yogis who've hurt your foot or your ankle and you're missing the yoga studio, this exercise might really serve you in getting a little bit of pigeon in your life until you can get back in there. Okay, so I want you to inhale, and exhale. Release into that hip. Think of all the good things that you just created with this workout. The energy, the positive thoughts, the healing for your body. Bring it up. Now you're gonna take the same arm as the leg behind you and you're just gonna reach up and twist. Kind of like, this is very much a very um, dancerish pose. So, for those of you ballerinas in the room, check this one out. Totally reminds me of a, like a ballet position. You're wearing a tutu, there's like flowers all around. Yep, great. Okay, sit it up. We'll try the other side. So gently switch to the other side. See how I did that? Magic. Okay, nine degrees. So hip, knee, knee, ankle. Hip, knee, knee, ankle. And then come forward. So again, stretching the buns. Now if it's too much to come all the way down, you can be right here. This is a great stretch. Now, flexing the feet might make it a little bit more hippie. So try that. And breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Such a good workout. I'm so proud of you. You could be sitting and having a pity party, but instead you're here. It's a good sign. Okay, come up. Same arm as leg behind you. We're just going to do that twist. So reach over, stretch the whole side of the body, Breathe, think strong, happy thoughts. Oh, it's so good. And back up to center. Beautiful. From here, I just want you to bring one leg across the other knee, carefully. Tuck the other foot in. And we're just going to do a seated spinal twist. So hopefully this is okay on your injury. If it's not, maybe wait until we end this exercise. Sit up super tall. You're going to take the opposite hand to leg in front. Lift up. Hug it in. And twist. I want you to give your body some love. The more love you can give your body, the more it will respond positively. Sit up tall, nice deep inhale, and long exhale. Let's 
counter twist just to balance it out. Oh, twist. And come to center, switch sides. So we just gently switch, be careful. Sit up tall, make sure your heels are not directly underneath your hips, a little off to the side. Sit up tall. Opposite arm to knee in front, lift. Use that posture to twist and hug the knee in close. You want to look back over that back shoulder and think about a tall, long spine. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. I'm smiling, those endorphins are kicking in. It's awesome. Let's counter stretch, come twist, and relax. One to two more stretches before we end. So the first stretch is a laying down quad stretch. So you're going to lay on your belly, and this one I used a lot when I was healing from my sesamoid injury because my quads got really tight from sitting. So it's amazing, but I want you to again be mindful with whatever you're healing from. So you're going to come on either your elbows, or you can bring it all the way down, and you'll just guide your heel towards your butt. Now, you can stay there, or you can grab your heel and bring it in towards your butt. You're going to lay down and inhale. If you're not laying down, you're up in that cobra. So it's kind of, that cobra doesn't always feel great to me, so I like this one. But it's up to you. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Release that side and let's switch. So bring the heel towards the bottom. You can again let your head rest on your hands. Lengthen your quad into the floor and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Both legs straight. Take your arms out into a cactus position. So the elbows make 90 degrees. Now this one's kind of tricky, so you can watch first. But you'll take your left hand in towards your left chest, bend your left leg, and then twist your left leg across the body so that you're opening your hip flexor, your chest, your shoulders, your back. This one's a little tricky, so if you want to watch it first before you try it, go ahead. I love this stretch. Some people call it scorpion stretch. I just call it a fabulous stretch. Breathe. And relax. Let's switch sides. So you can see this from the other side now. I'm going to take my arm to 90, right hand towards my chest, flip carefully so that my foot touches gently the back of the floor. And I'm just opening my heart, my hip flexors, my back, my shoulders, my spine. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. One last deep breath. And relax. Come back to center. Gently come to a tabletop position with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Inhale, round the spine, arch the back, tuck the shin. And exhale, belly down. Really nice. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Back to center. And come to any comfortable seat. You, my friend, just completed one of my best hurt foot fitness total body workouts. You did fantastic. That workout was cardio, strength, flexibility, everything all in one. And I'm so proud of you for making it through every exercise with a positive body and mind. This is part of my Hurt Foot Fitness program. And of course, the details are below if you'd like to join me and my entire Hurt Foot Fitness community in staying positive and active while you heal. If you like this video, please hit like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more feel-good fitness. I'm here to make sure you live your very best life positive with a mind and body that can support you in everything you do. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you soon at CarolineJordanFitness.com.